Yo, what's fucking up, dude? What up? What's happening, man? Wow, dude. Yeah, it's not much, dude. <laughs> I can't believe you're doing an episode. Why? It's no days off, dude. Uh, it's, dude, I just had a kid yesterday. That's why my voice is so deep right now. You dude. had a kid yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, dude. Let's <laughs> fucking go. Let's fucking go. Yesterday. Yeah, man. Insane. It was the uh, most ridiculous thing in the world. It's It's terrifying. It's yeah. Did I give you the whole saga? You didn't tell me anything. Jesus Christ, bro! It was so it was emergency C section. Well, not no. Excuse me. Excuse me. I lied. It wasn't emergency emergency C section. It's like on the spot and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was you know let's do it. We're you know we're every we had like a plan going. All of a sudden, like between contractions, a heart rate heart rate would dip. So we were like, what the fuck? No one knew what was going on. So we're like, let's see what's going what's happening. And then uh, I ran home to like let my dogs out real quick, and then <laughs> I had it. Well, I had to let the dogs out, bro. Because we were chilling for like a day. We had been there for like a day. Yeah. So they're like, all right, we're cool. Go do your thing. Come back. We, we, you know, we have plenty of time. And then like the lady came back. I don't know what. There was some kind of, the, the heart rate kept just kind of dipping. So she was, this lady called me like, hey, this is the plan we have. We're going to move forward with the C-section. Turns out the umbilical cord was around her neck three times. Oh my God. We had no idea. And if, if, if Brittany hadn't gone as early as she did, because Brittany just woke up one morning and was like. She had thought like her water broke and it didn't. So she was just kind of like, she just, I think she was just anxious to get in there. Yeah. Thank God she did because they were like, I don't know, there's some weird thing going on with her heart rate. That's why they kept us. Otherwise, they would have told us to go home. So since they kept us, they were able to monitor that whole time and be like, something's, because wow. her, her vitals were all, like, perfect the whole entire time. So then since she was there, they were like, something's weird. Yeah. And they're like, we don't know what it is because like she seems fine. But once they would do the stuff to like trigger the, um, the contractions, the heart rate would start to do- drop. And they were like, dude, we don't know what the fuck. This is weird. So then yeah. eventually once... So, dude, so that that was just the drama leading into it, which was like yeah, terrifying, terrifying enough. It's very scary. Dude, you go into the fucking C-section room, and it's like... First of all, they don't like... They put you all... I was in scrubs. I'm yeah. fucking... I'm McSteamy, dude. I'm fucking all... I'm full McSteam, dude. I have yeah. the boots on, the, the things. And then you're like, all right, we're going to bring her back. You got to wait 20 they minutes. Didn't, they probably didn't know they were dealing with somebody who's... Basically a doctor. But, uh, exactly. You're like, guys, I'm more versed in like Eastern medicine, but <laughs> I can handle this. Yeah. Meaning I sat outside, almost cried. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you should have offered some CBD. I should have been like, have you, like guys, how many, how many miller, how many milligrams of CBD? Is anyone here microdosing? <laughs> I need a doctor that's on mushrooms. <laughs> no, these are not doctors. I on need mushrooms. more of a fourth dimensional doctor right now. <laughs> no, I wanted a third dimensional. You abandoned. I'll tell you what, when, when it comes down to it, you abandon those beliefs real quick. I would have killed a lady with dreadlocks, dude. I would have <laughs> yeah. killed a white lady with dreadlocks to have this thing go well. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Dude, I'm like, so I'm sitting there. Like you come back in twenty minutes, so I'm like, I'm sitting in my fucking scrubs. I'm, I'm like, I'm such a fucking loser, dude. I'm just sitting there because I'm why just I'm so nervous. Scrubs, (laughs) I'm just so nervous, dude. Well, because I like, I tried to like get into like I came back and I was like, so I tried to have like doctor talk with these these people. They're having like the the team of people came in, started doing stuff, and the only question I was trying to ask, I was like, well, like. How when you say you're gonna schedule us to be next? How long does that? How long is that? Because in my head, I'm like, maybe if you just like stop giving the oxytocin stuff, things will kind of correct and go back. So I was trying to basically ask the question like, do we have like four hours? And if so, can we just wait and see what happens? And the lady was just literally looked at me and she's like, I'm sorry, do you have to be somewhere? And I was like, what? And she's like, I, I don't. I, I, it seems like you're in a rush. I'm like, I'm in a fucking rush. I want to see. So I'm in like, I'm pissed off at doctors. Oh. I'm like, these motherfuckers, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. That's it, a rough one. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I was in there like, what the fuck? And then I asked Brittany. She's like, you sound, you just weren't asking direct questions. So like, they're Damn. like, they just take her away. And I'm sitting in scrubs like, God, I'm a fucking loser, Damn. dude. I was so scared. And I, dude, I was going to cry. I was yeah. just sitting there just like, so. And then I'm like, I need to go back there. So I was like, fuck. So then finally they come out like, all right, come back. And I'm like, dude, I go back. There's just a team of like seven bays of just like seven like tall doctor bays. It's all women in, in this OR thing, obviously. So they're just like female surgeons who are just sitting there just chatting about like this week they're like yeah i tried this wine and you're like you walk in just like and you go on the other side of the curtain your bay is just fucking crucified dude and you just sit back there and just look at her like you're cool you're fine and dude out of nowhere they keep being like yeah you're good you don't know what's going on and all of a sudden they just go here she is and dude you just see a human being pop out on the other side of like the partition i literally was like yeah like i, I was startled 
And then I was like, fuck. And then you had to go over there. I cut the cord, did all that stuff. I saw the video you cutting the cord, which is it was, gross. It was awesome. That was tight. That was pretty cool. But dude, then <laughs> I heard you were like, ew, <laughs> like while you were cutting it. <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, the one lady, I was like, what? Watch your finger. I don't want to cut your finger. Yeah, dude, and nobody's fucking around at all. Yeah. The one lady actually was fucking around. Hey, watch your finger. Then while you're cutting it, you're like, ew. That's <laughs> <laughs> like hilarious. But yeah, that was, and dude, I'm like describing that with words. It was the most insane thing. It was like the most surreal shit in the world. Of course. It was weird. And it's yeah. funny, it's funny too, because like whenever people are like, oh man, yeah. Having, it's, it's just the best and it's like that's the only way you can describe it because there's like it has to be the best you can't be like man it's well, cool. that was a traumatic ex- <laughs> like, <laughs> wild cool. experience it's fucking crazy because i would Damn. go in and visit people who had kids and be like what's up guys hey what's going on and just like kind of shoot the shit with them yeah. not realizing they just like all almost died <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, holy yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. man yeah it's dude it was it's i woke up this morning and was still same thing the worst ever of waking up being like that second of being like, what's going on? Oh, fuck, 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 wow. fuck. Wow. It's crazy. Well, they, they they all almost, in just the mom and the kid. The dad's chilling. I could have died. You were fine. I could have died. That's like the end of uh, <laughs> a Farewell to Arms. What, what, I never saw that. Hemingway's book. The, oh, yeah. the <laughs> mother and daughter die giving birth. Mm, oh, and the guy, Jesus The guy Christ. just leaves the hospital and goes back to the hotel. <laughs> it's yeah, so funny. It's goes, just like, well, that goes through your head. All right, though. well, see you guys. <laughs> he just goes home. I guess I'll try again. Yeah, just go back to my life. Yeah, dude, that went through my head. I'm like, I wonder what would happen. Because I left to get, I knew it was That's like, fucking nuts, there's dude. shit going on. So I'm like, I would just be, dev- I would, that would yeah. be total fucking, uh, Whatever that movie is, the guy talks to a volleyball. I was like, I, I was in yeah. my head being like, I would just totally give up a life. And yeah, just... you'd have to go home and strangle the dogs. Yeah, I'd have to take us all out. I you thought of, I literally yeah. was on the way home. Like, I could see why people like. I watched the pharmacist, and he was like, I really thought about like going home and killing my whole family, like having my whole family <laughs> commit suicide. And I was like, <laughs> driving home, being like, I can see that. Yeah, you got to get rid just of it. Be, yeah, just being like, you know what, fuck this. It's a clean slate. Let's start over. <laughs> Everybody, the whole group failed. <laughs> We're done. Yeah, man, it was. It's fucking fuck, dude. That's levels of darkness that it's just like holy fuck. But so yeah, it was cool. Everything, and then they came out and like that was the whole. Reason for everything the umbilical yeah. cord umbilical cord is wrapped around my neck too so i was like that's swag oh sick she was just dripped out dude had chains on dude <laughs> yeah bro that's wild she it was that crazy happen. dude it, w- it was the most insane thing she's all right didn't fuck up like oxygen or chilling, anything man. yeah she's chilling. nice she's chilling so fuck dude i can't believe it. this is the crazy thing to me is taking no days off dude Next day, bro, I'm back. Next day, you're on the cast. I'm on the cast. Well, dude. Your kid's not even a day old, dude. You're casting. I'm casting, bro. Casting. Casting. How can we not talk about family, dude? Exactly. The dude. dogs were in the operating room. The dogs room were with wondering you, what was. They all had scrubs on. We all had. Everybody. Chat Nation had scrubs on, dude. <laughs> they didn't give me pants, though. They're like, yeah, we don't have pants for you. What were you wearing? Like cargo pants? I was pants? wearing, luckily, I was wearing blue sweatpants. So I was like, oh, I got my sweat. I got my pants on, dude. Three tall, fucking, probably college tennis player, doctor ladies just looking at me, being like, okay, so we'll be back there. And I was like, it's <laughs> about to cry behind a surgical mask like <laughs> that's very stressful man dude it was terrifying Fuck. it was absolutely terrifying but it was fun once uh because britney was still out when like the baby first like got stabilized and i just got to hold her and play with her for like an hour that was pretty tight. that was pretty fun so she got to wake up to yeah nice. that's sweet to just a dude in a surgical mask being like hey hey look at this Check this out. Look at this fucking kid. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that was fucking nuts, man. So, yeah, and I'm still like, no sleep, bro. I would stay up all night, play 1914, crush oh, people. Man. I see I see what's going on. <laughs> I mean, the real loser in all this has been Sweden. Pretty much. Dude. Sweden's <laughs> going to get fucking killed for this. <laughs> that lady was like, oh, do you have somewhere to be? You're like... Okay. I'm like sit down in the office and be like, fucking Sweden thinks it's, I'm an idiot too. I'm going to invade Russia for this. Yeah, it was it was pretty funny, man. It, I mean, it was definitely nuts, but. Were there a lot of fights? How were the No fights? No, we were pretty good. Going in the, I knew going into the C-section. It has was, to be fights. I mean, that's she was why. Saw, she was saw, I mean, dude, no, they don't, people don't want a C-section. That's, I don't. And again, the doctor asked me, I'm like, man, whatever, fucking that way, that whatever. Yeah, I wonder what that's about. I think some women take it as a failure. I, I, I think they say like there's. I was on my I was my mom's third so. Third sex kid, so okay. I was their first C section. So I think she didn't give a fuck. That's, I think by yeah. the second one, people are like, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't. Just dude. get this thing out. Well, because there's like you know there's more cheering and stuff like oh my god you're doing great the C section you're just like, 
it's cold, bro. You're on this table, you're freezing, you're shivering. And you're just like, you don't get to see yourself. You're like, they don't let you look at yourself. So yeah, you're just probably because like, it'd be fucking horrific. You could, you'd pass the fuck out. I couldn't yeah. look. At one point, I, I peeked over the curtain a tiny bit, and I was just like, chill, bro. And I just sat back. What'd down. you see? Did you look? It was luckily. It was. It was kind of like the the cut was below where the belly was, so yeah, I, so you I see didn't the, get to see. But uh, I, I got to see the fucking shit, like the towels and shit on the way out, and was like, oh. damn, dude, that's the one thing, man. When your bay has a kid. It's like fucking the two days of like, like, dude, you watch them get like an epidural. That's terrifying. They put a catheter into your spine. I was telling you about the dude. I don't, I don't, I still don't understand what it is or it's, how it works. It's like a fuck. I don't understand it either, dude. I thought it was just a big needle they hit in your back, but it's like a, they run like a little wire. Some literally the dude came down Pittsburgh Steelers fucking skull cap. <laughs> looks like scrappy dude. He's just like a jacked fucking wee man, dude. He was, he was like a jacked wee. Yeah, he's and a he, manly. <laughs> dude, he was he's like... A Steelers manly. On, he, he was on another... He had like... A, I mean, I have a long torso as well. This dude had a long torso. Dude, I don't think he I've ever a, seen a Steelers fan <laughs> not in scrubs. <laughs> dude, if you go to Pittsburgh, it's a guaranteed Heinz Ward jersey with like Zubaz scrubs. <laughs> Is every Steelers fan a nurse? I think so. <laughs> dude, I think every man... Like, dude, it's insane. <laughs> Yeah, dude, he, it was a jacked manlet. It just comes in at four in the morning, just being like, first kid, awesome, man. He's like, yeah, I'm going to, and then like you, you, they like fish this weird wire into your spinal cord and then run. How? I don't know if I can From your look. back or from our? Your back, from your back. They, she was they, laying on her stomach? They, yeah, yeah. You're on your side and they just, yeah. they fucking, again, block you off. They don't want you to see this. <laughs> and they just, some, they, they put lidocaine, numb your back out. And then just like run a fucking fishing line thing into your. I, I didn't get it at all. And then that connects to like a drip. And then they drip. And then your whole half your body goes numb. And then you get like itchy and shit. It's fucking, dude. Girl, they get fucked up, dude. You just yeah. watch your bay just get like just mauled for two days. And you're just like, this Oof. is horrendous. And they do. They just. The weird. The weirdest thing is they just <laughs> soldier up. They just totally yeah. soldier up. And you're like. <laughs> I'd be complaining the whole time, dude. <laughs> like, dude, we're fighting about. I left the rug down. Like, I didn't put the bathroom rug back on the tub, and I'm like, so that fucks you up. But I just watched you get fucking fatalityed, and you're just like totally soldier yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being like, where's my kid? Breastfeed, and it's like, okay, that's weird. But dude, yeah, you're just in total. You're in forever debt. You what hilarious? Yeah, the forever debt's hilarious. You're like, in I, debt, you have no bro. idea what your mom went through, and then you get like old enough to be like, "Shut the fuck up, <laughs> mom!" <laughs> yeah, dude. I I didn't save the game yet. I can't restart it now. You bitch! You can't do the dishes. <laughs> yeah, like Jesus Christ! I did the dishes two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like I mean, it's like skydiving with a parachute. That's like gonna work nowadays. Like I don't know. It's scary as fuck, dude. It's terrifying. Yeah. My friend, uh, actually it was Spud. Spud's boy, his wife got a C-section, and when they cut into her, he said the blood hit the ceiling. It's so fucked, dude. What? It's crazy. Ours was cool. Ours went as smooth as they could possibly go. Yeah. But, yeah, man, dude, it, that's D-Day for the bays, dude. That's gross. I, 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 don't, I You can't look at them the same ever. You just the look bays at them. bays have like, to have that happen, too. That sucks. Oh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean that's that's the weirdest it's part an of impending torturous day that's just gonna happen in your life, and it's like supposed to be the best thing. That's that's the, the weird part is this is the whole, it's kind of the whole kit and caboodle because it's like you know you get a job so you can eventually get a bay, you get a bay so you can you know obviously get pussy, but it's like the idea is <laughs> behind all of that yeah. to have a kid eventually yeah. if you want one. I mean the whole point of life, yeah, is to have a kid, and it's weird. It's weirdly satisfying where it's kind of like. It's, I don't know. It's very bizarre. What do you mean? Try to, try to it, explain. It's like you... If people are like, everything's going to change. And I kept being like, yeah, okay. Whatever. I mean, I, I was like, obviously it will. Yeah. But I was like, I just... When you I hear... Think, Matt, I think rumpus time is over. Dude. Oh, no, no, no. Rumpus time, <laughs> rumpus has, time, rumpus time has to be better organized. That might have just been the end of the beginning of rumpus time. That's what I'm saying, you know? dude. Now rumpus time has just begun. Dude. Now I can fully now you rumpus. Can, now you can absolutely rumpus into the darkest realms of the universe <laughs> exactly now that you've accomplished all your earthly goals that's what i'm saying it's time to yes fully rump us out fifth dimension well it's obviously the weirdest <laughs> part it, it's weird because it feels like I, I felt like kind of grounded in what i was doing and then you have like as soon as you have a kid you're like oh dude i was just i was floating around yeah you're free agent status and you have a kid you're fucking mommy dolphins dude you're on a squad now you're like oh fuck i have to do X, Y, and Z. It's weird. It sounds so dumb. No, it makes perfect sense. But yeah, dude, it's like, 
Like, literally, I woke up this morning, and it was just like, what the fuck? And you just kind of snapped to it, and you're like, what the fuck is going on? Gotta do the podcast. Gotta get home, do the cat. It's so funny explaining it to her, dude, like, your family. I'm like, they're all, her mom came, like, you know, go do what you gotta do. I'm here. But I was like, Britt, I have to do the podcast. She's podcast like, is you're not going to school. You took off school, and you took off your internship. And I was just like, yeah, dude, the cast, yeah. I have to do the cast. The that's, cast is. That's the mother business, dude. Has to be done, and yeah, it's just so funny pleading with your bay and like if, who like just got like crushed. To like be Shane like, probably has cool stories, <laughs> and we gotta tell them. <laughs> I think Louis texted him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it's so funny having to explain her. But you don't understand. It's very important that the Patreon is doing pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> There's a series of dollar donations that if I could lose it any minute, and this kid will be fucked. Yeah, man, dude, it was it's nice. Uh, it was awesome, dude. It's, it's still That's tight. fucking wild. I'm on literally like, dude, I'm on like three hours sleep in two days. I'm just on pure, just pushing, dude. I don't eat. That's the cool thing, too, because I'm listening to that book about Sudan. So I've been channeling the fucking... The, the Sudanese. The Danka. Yeah, the Danka. Nice. The suit. Well, yeah. It was, there's, it's split. There's Muslims. They have problems with I know. Muslims. Bro. I didn't know. Now it's a split country. Yeah. Now it's South Sudan. English could have prevented the whole... Or English. England could have prevented the whole fucking thing. England got in there and kept the muzz at bay really they were like look nah we're gonna put christianity down here we're gonna show you guys some cool shit and then the uh the muslims were like nah you don't get we'll, we'll just stay one thing you don't gotta split us and england's like you sure bro i'm pretty sure we should split you guys up you guys kind of hate each other yeah they're like nah and then they the england is like, all right and they left one they did like world war or whatever and then dude the muzzes came down dude the muzzes brought thunder well wasn't it, it was the uh <laughs> It, the Muslims were all thunder, but it wasn't even just the Muslims. It was, um, what you want to call it, the, the leader of Sudan used the Muslims to be like, I, I mean, I think he's Muz, but he hired like the Arabians to be mm. like, yo, you want that? Because they have, there's just an oasis down there of yeah. just cattle grazing land. And they were like, they don't like the SPLA, the rebels. So they're like, yo, go down there and just do whatever the fuck you want. You can keep the land. I just need to crush those rebels. Dude, it, you're talking like, so these dudes were like in the beginning of the book. It's so fucking funny. Because they're talking about a bicycle, and they're like, I had never seen such a shiny bike. And they're like, the, they're having, there's like a whole town being like, yeah. do you keep the plastic on, or do you take it off? And they're like, the one, the guy who's like the town leader is like, it would be very diligent to keep it on for protection. And dude, it's like, it's them just like talking. Town about elders like, love keeping the plastic dude, on, dude. Every geezer loves, oh like, God. if they have a cell phone, the plastic is <laughs> still on the cover. Dude, that's universal. Geezers love the plastic. It's like he was a very wise man. Yeah. And he has doing it so f so they're talking about like a seeing a mongoose for the first time and how they're just blown the fuck away. Yeah. And then one day, helicopters come out. They've never seen a helicopter before in their life. Helicopters come out I of the sky. I still get excited to see helicopters. Yeah. I see them every day. <laughs> and if I'm driving and there's a helicopter, I, I'm staring at it. Dude, they're in fucking huts. And one day a helicopter comes from over the sky and just starts murdering everybody you've ever known <laughs> the whole world around you it's people were like it's the apocalypse and then muslims on horses come in and just start just they steal your sisters tie them to your horse and just murder everyone they see with ak-47s and burn everyone alive in their houses and that was about the lost boys who just walk across yeah. the desert dude it's some of the lost boys made their way to the mechanicsburg dude you were telling me that yeah we had I, some lost boys. i have such a drive to interact with the sudanese. sudanese they're denka bro yeah dude it's a good that's Manute Bowles Denka. Yeah, they're all tall as fuck. Dude, super tall. Yeah. Dude, Manute Bowles Denka. Yeah, it's fucking sick. You know there's, he, a, there's a bowl in the NBA right now. Really? Yeah. Do you know yeah. Manute Bowles diverts, like, a, he diverted a ton of his money towards South, uh, South Sudan. Oh, really? Dude, he Good went back. Him. Yeah, he's, dude, he was, like, taking them all in, like, helping them, like, get here and give them speeches. Dude, it's so funny. There's a, we watched a video in our school. At, in high school about the Lost Boys coming to America. Yeah. One of the funniest fucking videos of it. It's the same thing dude. about seeing the bike. They saw a vacuum. Oh. They, right when they got off, the first off, they'd never been on a plane. Yeah. They get on this fucking plane, fly straight to them. They, they dropped off in like central Pennsylvania. They're That's, like, where the fuck are we? And then somebody shows them a vacuum in this living room and they all, like, they're screaming. <laughs> they were running around. Then they, dude, there was a clip where they were trying to teach them how to drive after like a week. <gasps> Holy. They've been in the country for like a week, and someone was filming them trying to drive cars. Fuck. Fucking hilarious, dude. It, dude, it's, the book is the funniest. It's the same like, thing. Like, they didn't know the road. Like, they didn't understand that the roads, like, it was just Grand Theft Auto as far as, like, you can just drive on the grass. <laughs> you can, there's no path. You just, no. this thing moves, so you move wherever you dude, want. they don't have time. There's, like, not, like, a real sense of time over there. It's just yeah, the yeah, days yeah. and nights. They, they were talking about, uh. And the, the Lost Boys, like, walked, like. Does it talk about that in the yeah, book? Yeah, dude, that's the whole they thing. They traveled, like. 
insane amount of terrain. The boys like, would be eaten by. They walked to fucking uh, what you call it, Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Yeah, and they, they didn't. First of all, they were walking to Ethiopia, not knowing it existed. A lot of them were like, "What is this Ethiopia?" And he's like, "Foolish boy, do you not learn anything?" Good dude, Christians over there. Ethiopia's got some Christians, good Christians. Dude. They'll help you out. So the, the Dankas are very good. Dude, their names when they come over here. The one guy's name is like uh, Vincenzo. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. My name is Valentino. Yeah, there was a, there was a there was a whole family of dudes that played basketball from Mechanicsburg that were all Sudanese. Dude, I Fucking I want to inter- I now all I want to do is hang with the Sudanese, dude. They're pretty all chill. All they talk about is their ancestors. I, I'll tell you the exact park in Mechanicsburg. We can go fucking chill. We have to go. They hang out. Dude, it's all ancestors. It's like it's yeah. so fucking sick, dude. Now we got Somalis though. That's what you told they me. Might you be beef. They're close. No, they might be beef and Somali is Muslim. Oh, because I know they're close. That, that has to suck. They're close to Sudan. It's like you move to Mechanicsburg and you're like, all right, sick. And then a True. major Muslim African population shows up. It's like, God damn it, dude. We have to fight these guys again. We have to meet them at Fisher Park and fight. That would be terrifying. Dude, the, uh, that's so funny. The honkies funny. would have. They'd, be, they'd, they'd build a wall immediately. Yeah. The honky, one dust up between the Sudanese and the Somalis <laughs> in Mechanicsburg. Guaranteed wall, dude. That's Trump 2020. That's a bunch of white people like get them out of here. Yeah, that's well. You'd have no. You'd have a lot of white people supporting this uh, Sudanese Christians. True. You'd have like St. Joe's Chargers would have their back. I mean, dude, is there anything better for like a white dude from the suburbs to be able to like get in and be like, dude, I'm t- those Muslims are attacking those Sudanese <laughs> yeah, African yeah, yeah. guys. That's fucked up. Yeah, I'm not on a problem with this. Nothing we love more than some good like we can't believe the Muslims are doing this again. <laughs> it's like, well, there's some Christian massacres as well. Wow, well, uh, yeah, just defending their land. Well, just, Bono supports the yeah, yeah Bono dude. Bono got in on it, dude. They're uh, Darfur and all that. Yeah, Manute Bull. They so like they brought Manute Bull back because Manute Bull was welcoming all these refugees and being like, you know, guys do this, and he was speaking out against it. So the leader of uh, Sudan told Manute Bull like, yo, we got a position for you. We want to help you. We want you to like bring us all together. We're gonna give you like minister of sports and fucking entertainment. Some weird shit they came up with. So Manute Bull got down there. They're like, oh, all you got to do is denounce Christianity and say, uh, you know, you're a Muslim. And he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then he had to bribe his way out of the country because they were trying to kill him. <laughs> and then the, the leader of Sudan, the guy's, I think it's like Al Bashari, I forget his name. Mm, he totally cool. denies it all. He's like, we never. Uh, what? what? I mean, yeah, some people left, but. That's not something we would do. Some people, some people left, obviously, <laughs> but they're just dumb. Dude, yeah, they're he, pussies. He fully, basically Holocaust denies. That's sick. He basically is like. No, that's total lies. We didn't. We shot. No, nah, dude. What people, would you do if you if, if I attacked like, did my you own genocide? Citizen? I'd be like, <laughs> no, crazy. True. If you do genocide, there's no way you're gonna own up to genociding. You're gonna be like, no, no I did what? Yeah, Lie. you get look. Fucking you wouldn't liars. understand. I was doing what was right. <laughs> yeah. All right, the world's not gonna get it, dude. They would uh like they would be chilling in their village, and like some dude would come back with a missing hand. They're like, what happened to you? He's like, I was very hungry and I stole an apple. They're like, who would do such a thing? Dude, it's so f- and like they did. You come back with your hand off, and then they're like, "You got to live by Sharia law." And they're like, "What the fuck that? No, dude. Yeah, shit fucking sucks." And they're like, "Well, it's pretty cool." And they're like, "No, nah, no, nah, dude, it's not that cool. We're losing hands. Yeah, hands dude. for apples. Shit fucking blows." Yeah. But then like they would fucking get, so the lost boys would be walking through the desert. You would have yeah. lost your hand over some like fun dip back in Little League. Oh, bro, we got fucked. <laughs> I would have lost my my arms, it's legs. Like hangman, You'd from be Wal- just a head. <laughs> <laughs> from like pillaging, I would have lost my hands like this year from Walmart. <laughs> the self checkout as soon as you leave a guillotine is fucking hits yeah, you. Dude. Ugh, are dude. you excited? Speaking of the guillotine, are you ready for that to come back? With our socialist revolution. Oh, when we support Bernie, dude. Yeah, are you excited for the socialist I revolution? Oh, I can't wait till we bring the guillotine back, dude. Can't wait. Once Bernie wins. It's time to behead the rich. Eat the rich, bro. It's time for us to eat the rich until we get rich. Compost the rich. And then, yeah. Well, then it's the always. Rich are cool. Yeah, it's always compost the people who happen to be richer than me. And then. Because if you're like an upper middle class white liberal, it's always, yeah, dude, the fucking rich. And it's like, oh, so people richer than you and above. You're yeah. pretty fucking wealthy. Yeah. It's like, well, you know. You have a pool. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, people are like, I mean, the fact that they took away the wealth tax is bullshit, and they, they took away the like the estate tax or whatever. They, it's like it stops at ten million. It should be at like five million. It's like, how about two hundred thousand, bro? Yeah, <laughs> oh, we're not gonna go with that. Like, come on, five million. Yeah, yeah, it's motherfucking bullshit. The no, I'm, ex- I'm excited for the dude. socialist revolution. Me too. Yeah, that's where it goes. It has to go towards just death. Yeah, Bernie and killing wins, the rich. We're bringing the guillotine back, dude. That's a cool thing to say right now. Of like yeah. eat the rich, murder the kill the rich, and it's like 
That's cool. If I'm you, down with it. Yeah, I'm down. But it's also the same time they have to admit, like, I would love for them all to be like, but if I were rich, I wouldn't feel that way. Yeah. And there's no way. Except for Bloomberg. Bloomberg is Bloomberg's think, a real deal. You like Bloomberg? Real deal. That's what we need. That's what we, we need. need a, yeah, we need a good billionaire, dude. True. Not for these evil billionaires. I'm we need a sick of the evil ones. We need a good billionaire. Now Do you see all the talking. good stuff he does for black people on his commercials he shows every 10 seconds? No. Is he helping black people? Oh, dude. Every commercial is a black dude being like, I don't know. I, my life is fucked up, dude. And then Bloomberg. And it's just, <laughs> and Bloomberg just Bloomberg with a hard hat being like hugging black people being like, yeah, dude, here's some jobs. Oh, man. It's so fun. There's so many different commercials of people being like, it's been hard for black Today's people. Today's Super Tuesday, dude. They're working hard to get rid of the burn. I know, they dude. They can't. They all, all the all the other moderate Democrats dropped out and they all endorsed uh, Biden. Biden's kind of crushing it too. Biden just won South Carolina. Did he? And he's, dude, he's the ultimate black friend bragger. Oh. <laughs> it's nonstop with that guy. Everybody, he's, he's like, black people love me, dude. I love black people. Black people love me. Sorry. Yeah, he's riding that Obama coattail. He thing. really is. God. And it's like, I, I mean, he's got that Bill Clinton sauce with black people. I don't know what it is. He's just got. I it. don't think he has it. I think he, he talks does it. About but, it. Well, he's with Obama, so it's like, yeah. We'll see. He's that one dude in the barbershop three. <laughs> yeah, dude. We'll yeah. see. Well, he, dude, he goes down to a, uh, fuck man. He was, like, did you ever see a thing of him in Wilmington where he's talking about, where he's talking to like the whole black crowd? And he's like, and I saw this guy, and I yeah, saw popcorn these popcorn Willie. Ah, popcorn. <laughs> they were they had. I used to keep a chain wrapped around my knuckles, and uh, yeah. I thought we were gonna come to blows, and I didn't want it. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that'll be. I think he ends all of his speeches like, you know what, you blacks are all right. <laughs> <laughs> there was one. There was one from the debate. There was one from the, a recent debate where he was just like, well, the, uh, my time's up. <laughs> so he like he couldn't talk, so he was oh, just yeah. like, ah, I think my time's up anyway. So we well, stopped and went like, Why the heck am I stopping? Must be that Catholic education of mine. Yeah, he's like, Nobody else stops. God dang it! Do, uh, no, I won't either. He tried to uh, recite Martin Luther King, or no, I think it was Thomas Jefferson. He did the uh, All Men Are Created Equal. He did just he? forgot the speech midway through, like while he was good. He's like, Yeah, I mean, you know, you know the rest of it. <laughs> it's like, oh shit! I I told I told you that his like. The reason he said he keeps fucking stuff up is because he claims stuttering problem. He had an aneurysm. He had Whoa. a brain aneurysm in like 1988. Really? Yeah. First off, he Stutter got was before that. He got kicked off. Uh, he was running for president back then. Then he got caught plagiarizing speeches. Hilarious. He did too. Yeah. Hilarious. Move. All great presidents get caught plagiarizing speeches. <laughs> yeah, dude, he got caught <laughs> plagiarizing speeches. That's why he had to stop running for president. And then he had a brain aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> he probably tried to write a speech. I was like, ah, God, this is hard. <laughs> He's like, how can I write a speech without the N-word in it? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's the king of being like, and I guess they all do this, but he's so funny when he just tells a sad story about like a union guy who died. He's got a lot of sad stories. He's got a good sad story. And I'm like, God dang it. He's got some sad stories. I think his son died. Everybody he knows died. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's for what politics, you want. For, that's, that's what, what you want, want a leader. For politics, you want someone who you can go in and be like, Look, I get it. My whole family's dead. All right? <laughs> Look, I know jobs are tough to come by right now. Did I mention my whole fucking family died? <laughs> and I had a stutter when I was eight? That's his excuse for political gaffes. He's like, I'm a stutterer. So I just get nervous sometimes and say weird things about minorities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah he, I, uh, I want the guillotine back, dude. I want Bernie to come. So you want Bernie to win. Tear us up, dude. I was with Buttigieg. Buttigieg dropped out and endorsed Biden. I mean, dude, they're they're all everybody's the, endorsing Sleepy it's Joe. It's basically an octopus of Wall Street versus, but like they're like, all right, I'll step down. I, you know, I it's just they yeah. just run the numbers. Like, yo, you got to Bernie kissed the ring like that before. He, yeah, I thought, dude, they're gonna kill Bernie. They have to. They're going to kill him if he's if Bernie's he's gonna commit to suicide and they're gonna. I think you're gonna see a lot of Dems kiss the ring, dude, of the Trump dog. Ah, uh, yeah, they're gonna have to. You're gonna start. You know what's gonna happen? I would imagine is all these major like ah, they're not gonna try to keep Trump. I don't. Think. If it's between Trump or Bernie, they'll they'll try to keep Trump. They're gonna probably try to keep Trump. Trump will play so ball. So you're gonna see bro. some like New York Times articles and like all these like uh, major media outlets start to be fuck. like actually the economy is doing great under Trump. Like shit like oh, they that. Oh, they hundred percent would. Dude, that's I didn't even think about yeah, that. It's gonna be a weird switch. 
You'll Buzz- see some like pro Trump articles start to come out and be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, when Buzzfeed is like, "I know it's top maybe- ten reasons Trump is Bay." <laughs> <laughs> it's a good call. Yeah, that's a good call. Dude. Ivanka Trump is a mood. Yeah, they'll like pick somebody in his cabinet to be like, "Trump sucks," but like these people he picked actually aren't bad. I know yeah. I couldn't believe it either, and I almost like throw up saying this. Yeah, dude, that's a good point. Yeah, the money could dictate. Well, all that yeah, all that bullshit middle stuff hits the fan. Once it's Bernie versus Trump, it's like, yeah, what are we doing, what guys? Are we doing, socialists or fascists? Yeah, what are we doing? Let's yeah, get what- some fascism <laughs> fired up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we need to give Trump more power. Yeah, hundred percent. I think that's the move. We, we either we everything. either go socialist, full communist revolution, and start guillotining people, or we give Trump the ultimate power. I mean, can we just get a taste of a Trump dictatorship? <laughs> it'd be so fucking funny I mean it'd be bad It would be bad But be good lord It would be funny For a little bit Well none of it Would make sense No No He would just he, If he was a dictator He would just make All his shit rat He'd be like An African dictator <laughs> it, There'd be like No rhyme or reason For what he's doing He'd just have like 88 gold Cadillacs For no reason Well there's a reason For that but What's that? 88 is a very significant number. Oh, I didn't mean 88. <laughs> that just popped in there. You know, you had 88 gold Cadillacs, 23 advisors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, his shit would be pretty fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, that's but tight. Wanna... if we go communism, I could be down for that little revolution. I'd be pretty people. We gotta get you a beret. We could all starve. That'd be what's up. That'd be sick. We could I could lose slow, some LBs, dude. I might slowly... come out of the communist revolution like <laughs> fit. <laughs> that'd be. We should honestly, dude. I think we're due for a nice little starve. Yeah. It's just a little. Get a little hungry. I don't think we're gonna starve. That's what I'm saying. We'll just. We're gonna be all, good on. Starve. We'll all. Lo- we'll be the first regime to just all lose twenty pounds under communism. Yeah, just to be like. <laughs> whole country. We'll just good. all have normal BMIs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like you know they see the Holocaust picture. Yeah. There'll just be dudes who are just like kind of shredded. <laughs> dudes. Yep. dudes. Like, yeah, it was horrible, dude. We all like had like these weird jobs. We all got paid the same. We're just like all like shredded, and then we got liberated by China. China's gonna liberate. Who we us. now all work for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be yeah. tight, dude, if it's fucking camps of dudes just all fucking yoked. That's what I think it's coming to. Yeah. Just all of us fucking Jack 5% dudes, body dude. fat. Yes. Damn, Grandpa, you were fucking ripped. <sighs> but yeah, dude. I, uh, are we, are we going to support fucking Blue Chew? Uh, yeah. Okay. Because I. Did we get that? Did you get that email today? No, I didn't see it. Uh, we got it. We got some. We got some advertisers. Really? Yeah. The deal. The deal. Got, the well. deal is, I, I'm still. It's tough. Like it's a tough. I say yes right away, and then yeah. they send me like a read, and I'm like, no, no, not doing <laughs> it. I'm back out. I'm not doing it, dude. I watched a documentary on the, the rise of younger people taking like. Uh, excuse me. Jeez. Excuse me. I just burped. <laughs> I, I, I read about the rise of younger people taking like Viagra. Yeah. It was. It was pretty. Actually, I think I was watching it. Isn't like, it really bad for? It's got to be bad for you, dude. So what hap- what can happen is first of all, are you familiar with chem sex? Cam sex? Chem sex. Chem sex. Yeah. No. C E C H E M sex, dude. So that's what a lot of so I watched like the little mini documentary. C-E-M yeah, I'm E-M fucking sex. totally blown out right now. <laughs> yeah. The um so I'm researching like, you know, I was like, what does happen when people take this shit? So <laughs> a lot of it they were saying is just performance anxiety. So like it doesn't have like serious consequences but if you're taking it like psychologically yeah then it's like your ed now is just contingent upon having this pill yeah. or not, which is super fu- it's not even like placebo because it definitely gets your dick hard as fuck but if you do it too much you can start if you have boners for too long the mexicans are right you only get a limited amount of boners <laughs> so you're you <laughs> i hate to tell i hate to say it, yeah. but god damn it the mexicans are right yeah you got to have so like i think i think that science is when you take that you're using like 10 to 1. You're using 10 natural boners, I think. But what, what can... It doesn't always happen. It does rule, though. Imagine the power oh, of 10 sure. boners, dude. For sure. Uh, dude. I'm going to be honest with you. I took a blue chew this weekend. I'm not, first I'm time not hating I've, on it. First time I've taken one in probably like eight months. Dude. Bro, it's wild. Yeah. The, think about the high is just being hard as have fuck. You, have you had one? Uh, no, Ever? I'm scared. Dude, I am going to give you a blue chew. Take half. No. Just take half of one. I'm scared of a fucking Priya prism, dude. Just take half of one. Are you familiar with the Priya prisms? I'm I'm familiar with rock hard dongs, dude. I hear you. You want the hardest dong you've ever had? 
Yes, dude. It's so sick. I know. I know. Like it, your dong is so hard. But you can also not jerk off for like seven days and get a fucking yeah. But then you have rager. to not jerk off for seven days. True. Dude. And you can't do any kind. You can't. You, or drink. you can take a blue chew and just be fucking. I mean, Ooh. the idea of being able to get drunk, get all your gab game on, and then talk shit, like, dude. If like, if I could get hammered and go out and then take a blue, it's you're just like at that point you're, you're just a super lethal, you're a lethal weapon, yes. dude. That's like you a are lethal weapon. That's a lethal weapon of just having like a weird sexual encounter. Yeah, that charisma, you probably confidence, have. followed by not being like, well, normally it works. <laughs> <laughs> it is hilarious to like talk all that shit and then have your dick not work. That's it. That's it's your, so funny. That's such a good thing for your body. Oh, to, I agree. To be able to be rock hard and blacked out is terrifying. It's <laughs> a real problem. <laughs> You're gonna fuck some weird dude. things. Like when people do a bunch of blow and their dick doesn't work, to be able to, do, dude. So that's what chem sex is. And it's strictly in the gay community. Chem sex is when you take methamphetamine, GHB, and you just get you. They have it's weekend long drug orgies that just don't stop. So then you got to pop a bluey. So you pop some blueies, and obviously they'll do a little bit of coke and other stuff. But the main ingredients are GHB, methamphetamine, and like GBL, some other weird rave drug. And there's it's going. It's an epidemic. In like, well, people are. Where did like, you get this info from? YouTube. So, <laughs> all right, all right, there but I know there's articles about it where they're saying like, it's like the, uh, um, wait, gay dudes are taking drugs and having sex, chem sex, bro, <gasps> chem sex, but it, dude, it's, you it's, heard it here first. Yo, but this is, this is like literally the idea. There's not like just like doing poppers and stuff. Sure. This is like, we're going to get spun out on meth as hard as humanly possible. Keep our boners for 48 hours <laughs> and just have like savage gay sex Damn. for like, dude, you clock out Monday Get dressed and you're just hard till mo- you go or you go or you clock out Friday. You're hard, just in like leather, just sucking dicks and just fucking, dude. <laughs> Spun out on meth, dude. You're just hallucinating, like seeing the devil and just fucking, dudes. It's gotta be nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so that, so that. <laughs> I wish everyone could see the intensity that just said that with full eye contact with me. Just, it's gotta be nuts, <laughs> dude. I think you have like a fucking lair. Of just fuck, why like, do you imagine gay dudes are with the devil and in a lair? Because <laughs> it's called chem sex, dude. It could be fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm it sure might be very nice and beautiful. A week, dude. There's definitely chains. There's definitely leather. Stop kidding yourself. Look, I'm part of the I'm not socialist revolution, bad. dude. Gay I'm, sex layers are part of our thing. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, dude. That's the that, homosexuals are having gay sex layers. What's well, killing with the them. devil? It's like, dude, when you're when you're spun out on meth and GHB. They're saying the fucking HIV rates are starting to go up again in Britain because, like, dude, you're spun out on meth and GHB. What the fuck won't you do? The condoms are off, bro. There's no base settling this down, dude. These are this is like the full this is rumpus time. This is fully <laughs> rumpus time, dude. This is the end of rumpus time. This is how rumpus time finally ends when you hit like <laughs> chem, chem sex. Chem sex. It's, it's like yeah, we've had like chem talks, chem chills. Yeah. What do you think we? Yeah. You know, what if instead of mushrooms we just toss in some meth and GHB, dude? We just get fully dis like disinhibited from our bodies and then fully sped up, and then we pop bluey. So we're just hard, all hard as fuck. Just thinking of like, however, I mean, it's first of all, there's an infinite amount of dudes to get to like a chem sex party. It's as many dudes who do chem sex are gonna show up to every chem sex party. So it's like, it'd be like if we, you and I, had the capability to just like have orgies whenever. So it's like you, you, these things are probably like eighty deep, dude. This is full dancing bear. This is just dancing bears, dude. <laughs> there's no fucking there's, there's no fucking bays wooing in the background. This is when dancing bears take they leave the fucking bachelorette party. Yeah. Pop off the bear helmet, meth up, GHB up, all weekend, dude. Hard as fuck, just in the loot. Dude, I was thinking about this. Like, this is fucking nuts. Yeah. So yeah, that, being on a, like, a meth binge and then having a rock hard dong <laughs> for a week. That's what they're saying McAfee was doing. McAfee was apparently experimenting with these like methamphetamine kind of sex based things like MPVD or whatever. Mac is it McAfee? Or McAfee, Mc- McAfee, whatever it is, I forget. McAfee. The antivirus guy who went yeah. down to Belize and got chased out by the government. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was having yeah. chem sex, dude. They had to get him out of there. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much of a menace chem sex is, dude. He was having chem sex yeah, with like underage of, women. A bunch of dudes will drive a jeep up to your compound <laughs> with the machine guns and be like, "Get the fuck out of here." <laughs> Well, he's probably just wandering into town, just fucking taking people down. If uh, look, <laughs> you take some blue chew, dude. You're gonna experience the power. I believe it, dude. 
Now I combine that with some meth. Meth and blue chew. We got to get you half a blue. Yeah. I'll, I'll get one from Lewis. And we'll I give believe you it. Dude, I, you're I gonna, can't. You're going to thank. Oh, I, I'm sure. Dude, but you can't get your hold. Like, you can't get a hold of them because then you'll use them. I don't, I don't get a hold of them. I don't want I got them. one and I held it for like three months. Good for you. And then Sunday was a good occasion. The thing I watched, it was on Vice, actually. It was a support group for young men who could, like are addicted to taking, They like every time they have sex, they take them. Eey. And it was like, dude, it's so fucking funny. Why? And the, the one guy was just like, they're in England. He's like, well, I actually got addicted to blueies from Chemsex. And no one asked him what it is. They're like, oh, okay, cool. And I Googled it. I'm like, what the fuck? It was pretty nuts, dude. I like it. I like I'm it, too. I'm Sorry you're not. Look, I'm, yeah, I'm very, very sex positive, man. Me, too, dude. But I'm also, if you look at any, like, action movie, that's a bad guy lair, dude. That's <laughs> that's Blade. That's yeah. the vampires, dude. That's, fu- that's like, some wild, scary We need a black shit. conservative to come down and kill all the vampires. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to train, we're gonna have to train Sydney with swords. Not <laughs> So he can kill all the, bl- the vampires. Not killed as fucking, just give them that shit that sucks, the needle that sucks the blood out of them. Oh, dude. So if you take fucking vi- if you take it too much, and you you use too many boners up, um, th- there's like scar tissue that ha- like kind of occurs in your boner. So what happens is they you have get to- peronies. You get peronies forever. It's worse than peronies, dude. You just get forever just limp bird. And what they have to do is they put a uh, implant in your I've dick. Seen the implants? You know how you get it hard? Yeah, like a pump in your ball sack. Yeah. So you have to, you just have to like quietly squeeze your nut sack, <laughs> and then your dick gets hard. If I guess like I hover along like a floatable tube last for. You can't be out in the sun or it'll deflate. Oh. Your dick would deflate. Technically, your yeah, dick Lamar would deflate. Lamar will sit on it and it'll pop. <laughs> <laughs> your dick would technically, like, you'd get, like, the tire light in the winter. You'd have to, like, oh. pump your bird back up. It would become inflated in yeah, hot I weather. Yeah, I saw, we watched it on something, either Legion of Skanks or Bonfire. I watched it. Yeah, dude. Somebody getting that pump, and it's, like, it's, yeah. it's crazy. Seeing somebody pump their fucking boner from their, underneath their, their sack. sack, dude. Like a, ugh. I think they give you like a third ball. You yeah, gotta choose like wisely. A thing. You just fucking. <laughs> yeah, true. You don't want to get the wrong. Grab the you don't wrong pump. <laughs> Fuck, man, dude, that was. I was yeah. in the I was in the hospital just doing nothing but research, dude. Chem sex. I, I was playing nineteen fourteen. Crack the code on blueies. So if we do push, uh, blue chews, I'm gonna be like the British cigarette pack and be like, okay. Poison. You'll die. <laughs> you're gonna die, but you're it's gonna, gonna rule, and yeah. you're gonna feel cool the while Mexican, you're doing it. The Mexican Surgeon General says you only get an infinite amount of boners. The hen are all. The hen are all. <laughs> <laughs> He's exactly right, dude. But, dude, it's enough that I think I've said it on here. The first time I took Blue Chew, I was like, my my dick's actually huge. Yeah, that like m- I was sta- sitting there in the in a hotel mirror with a hard dong, just being like, damn, I actually have a good dick. That and that's what they said. It's like that's the power of blue chew, dude. They said your dick looks bigger than it ever has before. It does. That's that's dude. That's addictive, bro. You're gonna give me that? It's not addictive <laughs> for this You'll old dude. Right. For this dong hawk, bro. <laughs> I love checking. I love the specs on my dude. There is yeah. When you have like when you wake up with like a good semi, like a thick bird from like a hot bed, bro. Seeing yourself in the mirror in the bathroom is nice. It's I live nice for to it. be like that's a good. It's gonna be a good day. Man, I don't want to, dude. I'm I'm not making this up. Dad birds a real phenomenon. Really, you're just around like so much physical stuff and like yeah. you're just constantly seeing your wife's boobs. You got thick meat. You're seeing boobs all the time. I mean, I'm bragging. I'm seeing breastfeeding. I'm seeing fucking like butts, and you're just seeing. You're around a naked woman the whole time. Yeah. So you start getting like fluffed. It's Pretty you nice. Thick hog. I gotta be time. careful. I don't want to get scar tissue because I've had a semi for three seventy two hours. No. <laughs> I might have to pump my boners ball. I might during have a C section. <laughs> I might have to pump my ball. Like, oh, well, not from that. Put, that's why they put the curtain up. So you don't get hard. Not because it's gross. It's just because it's too hot. <laughs> too many dudes have prejacked in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like I mean, I don't want to get scar tissue from having this semi for seventy two hours. I mean, if that's what Dad Bird's about, I don't know, but. I might have to start taking blue. True, <laughs> I guess I think every time I saw my dad's dong, it did have. A, when you you become a geezer, you get a thick root like at all times. <laughs> I think you get like. Did you ever hear of the uh, <laughs> thing in grade school where if girls sleep on their stomachs, their boobs get bigger? You get that gravity action where like you start yeah, gravity yeah, yeah. It starts, starts to return your dong down. Starts to return to the source. Yeah, your dong starts to drop. You know. Sometimes it doesn't. I've been in a couple <laughs> locker rooms where I'm yeah, like, still got the <laughs> still pointing east, <laughs> still north. <laughs> Dude, I read. I was when I was looking up, like uh, I was looking up chem sex. I was looking up like ball pumps. I stumbled across a book that was just about uh, like micro, like living with micro penis. 
Yeah. So I'm like, all right, this is a tight book. This is hilarious. I saw the opposite book. It's called A Vice for Men with like huge dicks. Or I forget what the book's called. It's something like Living with a Humongous Penis, the memoir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. like, dude, I'm going to start sending people. That. I've seen like pictures of people reading that on the subway. Oh, okay. Which is hilarious. Dude, it's such a funny fucking yeah. book, dude. It's I'm going to start sending that to people. Anytime you have business with somebody, be like, I just want to give you. Here you go. True. Like, read up. I kind of could see it through your pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I could tell you. You had it. You dude, got thick bird. Writing a book. It was a, a doctor who wrote a book about having a huge bird. It's like, dude, fuck you, dude. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you for that. You're, you're a doctor, and that's not enough. You have to sell a bestseller about your experience having a humongous dick. It's like, fuck you, dude. Jerk off. <laughs> you fucking yeah. asshole. That'd be a bummer if he was your fucking... OBGYN. It's all girls, thank God. It's all girls. Yeah. And just dudes with like bestseller, New York bestseller, big dongs. <laughs> yeah, they're floating around. You don't want to run into them. <laughs> yeah, I saw the book. I'm like, what a dick. How gross was all the vagina stuff during birth? Nothing. Wasn't there stuff flying out? I didn't see all that, but they, they literally just like at the end push down on your stomach. They like get it just to start to get coming the out. out. Yeah, get the mung out. Yeah, the They just go... They just kind of do like uh, a, and it's bay on bay. So there's no ginger. They're just like, yeah, fuck off, whatever. They start, they start pumping you and they just try to pump it all out of you. Oh yeah. They're fucked. Dude. It's, it's like you get into Bay world. It's fucking Bay world's gross, crazy, dude. Man. That sucks. It's crazy. It sucks. Look, we sympathize. It's hard to be a lady. Being a lady sucks. I, I'm I literally dude. I, in my head, I'm just like, you're a feminist, dude. You're a male feminist. Fuck. No, male feminists hate kids. If if you're a male feminist, what you do is you're like, no, I don't want kids, babe. I don't care. And then you're True. like, if you're a male like, feminist, you love abortion. You fuck motherfucker. We hate abortion. We fucking hate it, dude. We hate it unless I need it, <laughs> and then I'll be quiet about it. I'm not gonna <laughs> flaunt it. <laughs> that would be tight if you went out as a male comedian and flaunted abortion. Yeah, like, true. Woo! So I took this girl and had another abortion. I was like, fucking dead baby bitch. <laughs> oh, you don't like it? It's because you hate women. <laughs> All right. Dude, I read a fucking article about me today. Some fucking, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put them on blast. See, that's the thing. Dude, it's, funny, get, it's funny. It's right. funny. I'll, I'll like Google my name sure. every day. Yeah. It, just because there's literally every day there's a new, somebody wrote something <laughs> or I'm just a mention in something. I might write a piece about you, the National Enquirer, and just take like a, like a real weird photo of you and just spread a wild rumor. That's I'll, the, I want to get it. you. I want to get I'll you read a, it the next day and I'll be one of the three people that read it. No dude, one gives a fuck. If you're in a, no, I'm saying that if you're like a super fresh tabloid of like Bigfoot sighting, like Shane Gillis <laughs> fucks the Queen of England and have you like looking all like furtively like. <laughs> no, it's it's just there's been like I've read so many articles about just like s somebody wrote an article that was just like being racist isn't funny, and it's like first off when I read that I was like <laughs> <laughs> kind of is now that you mention it <laughs> it kind of is but it's like why why would I don't know why are people writing articles that are like uh this is not funny. Yeah. It's like, why don't you just let people decide if something's funny? That's a weird man. Why, yeah. What's going on here that all these comedy journalists are like, sorry, people are done with this style. It's yeah. like, are they? Because I'm in the clubs every night and people are laughing. Yeah. I'm not a moron. I would change things if, if I was bombing. There's nobody more in tune with what's funny and what's That's, not exactly. funny than it's a touring like I'm, comedian. I'm reading some girl's article that, from Georgia. About how I suck. It's like, what do you <laughs> fucking know about comedy? What the fuck? It also shows if you if you get into the point where like you you're having major publications write about you, it starts you start to be like, oh, this isn't real on some level. Where like people can just write whatever they fuck they, they want. They can literally write whatever they want, and then I would feel bad saying their names. I don't yeah. name these journalists because I don't want them to get wrath on Twitter. Yeah, it's all journalists with like, Ver it's like chicks with Veritas tattooed to their arms. It's, dude. And it's like, they'll be like, mm, I think I got this it's handle. the on same this circle of people that are just around like, this special was amazing. This yeah. special. Uh, there, I, re I read an article, this lady wrote an article about Sam Morrell's special and was like critical of it. it. Was like, well, the closing callback was pretty weak, but overall, it's like, dude, and then they'll watch and review somebody else's special that's like a guitar act that's like, I'm sad and life's hard. And they're like, but well, that was incredible. This guy's changing the genre. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sam Rell is giving like a fucking sick special. And they're like, well, I think the last bit was a little hacky. It's like, dude, 
I'm uh, opening for uh, Sam Morel. Unbelievable. Are you really? And yeah, and, Fuck and, yeah. And May, yeah. That's gonna be awesome, dude. Be Sam's close, Sam's a beast. He's I heard he's a man. He is the man. He's a he's like a cool dude and he's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I mean also too, that's gonna like spike the suicide rate for comedians of just having critical journalists being like, That was kinda hacky. It's like, dude, first of all, you just learned that word like six days ago. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. I, yeah. I mean the she, the fact that this lady wrote an article well, also what's funny is she was like, well, he's starting to learn because he's not as transphobic as he used to be. Like, shit like that. And it's like... Bro, she's been following him like that? Yeah. She's reviewed, like, all of his fucking specials. So these are just critics, dude. They're not even journalists. Yeah, they're critics. They're critics. They call themselves comedy journalists. And then they literally are like... I don't know. I don't want to fucking talk about this again. But it's funny to read an article that's like... Somebody's like, this is not funny. Yeah, it's bullshit. It's like, all right, well... And that's that's okay. like... that's You're right. allowed to do that? Weren't You're critics... allowed to write an article like about music and be like, "This music sucks." Yeah, and it's like, sure, okay, but just you know, don't listen. Yeah, it's something, you don't have someone... to try. If if somebody if there was like if if I had a problem with like dubstep, I wouldn't write an article and be like, "Do you ban dubstep?" Yeah, <laughs> oh, like... you could make an argument. <laughs> never it's just I a very never... dangerous music dude oh true if you're trying to avoid chem sex <laughs> then yes don't <laughs> or if, blast if you're too st- stoned and you submit yourself to yeah, fucking dubstep what type of jams do you think they listen to at the chem sex parties just just uh no it's fucking uh break the pressure come play my game <laughs> it's prodigy <laughs> it's prodigy it's just prodigy it's just that song. Come play more game. It's just that over yeah, and over. Just British dudes. For sure. Um, oh, d- yeah, but dude. The, uh, but yeah, it was, it was a fun read. It's, I mean, and then I looked it up. I think it was a college student, that article from today. Cool. Of it was course. just a col- female well, it's college also student. Like, there used to be like critics were supposed to be like, kind of nuanced and be able to like dig through the things and be like, you know, this is cool. And then, but the you know, idea you would follow a critic and they go, like, oh, my tastes are aligned with this person. So if they like yeah. it, I'll like it too. But I'd be like, that's bad. It's like, okay, good. Yeah. Most of them were like, if you're going to be offensive, at least be funny. It's like the San Francisco. It's like all these like major publications that are like, this isn't even funny. My favorite one is this one, the cut. There's a, some, some type of website, I guess. What's his name offers bratty non apology. Awesome. That was pretty funny. Love that. They dude. called me What's His Name in a Brat. <laughs> I, dude, I fucking love What's that. What's His Name offers bratty non apology. Good. That's the thing, too, man. Like, if you were to, if you were, if the information were available for you to deep dive the writers of this material, mm. you could make them cry, dude. And it's like, that would chat my fucking ass. It's also, dude, they're also coming, like, especially the whole thing, like, racism's not funny. It's like, dude, we've literally been living in cells. Of like, you know, we've been living in like ethnic cells forever. And now they're mixing. We're figuring out the fucking Yeah, rules, it used dude. to be when they mixed, it was bad. It was there was usually a murder. One yeah. of the cells tried to murder the other cells <laughs> immediately. Yeah, dude. <laughs> now it's like, well, we got a funny name for them. No. Yeah, but dude, no. It's also like, so like you say you lived in like fucking Sweden. And then you would just one person like Remember it was like some the Denka. dumb piece of shit Danish idiot. It was like the Denka, <laughs> dude. Like who didn't know Ethiopia existed. One dude would have gone to Poland and be like, "Yeah, I met him. Kind of fucking dumb." You're obviously primed to be like, "They probably are dumber than us." I think the Polacks are dumb. They're dumb, and they're like, and then you're like, "Wait, what happened now?" Like, yeah, this guy he did something dumb. You're like, "Yeah, hey, I could see all of them being yeah. dumb. We're well, better than it's them." It's also like, ugh, I don't know. Like you're allowed to. It's funny to see people. Like, all right, so the same way we make fun of white people, like I was watching Trump try to speak Indian, and he went to, he dude, first off, he went to the like biggest cricket, Indians love Trump, dude. For sure. <laughs> they love Trump, dude. Yeah, it's dude. hilarious because if this exact conversation that we're having where you meet one person of a race, and you're like, well, that's, he speaks for all of them. I was <laughs> sitting there drinking with some Indian dude at a bar on the way to, to New York from London, mm-hmm. and he was just like, asking me about Trump, and he was like, I, what do you think about him? And I was like... Uh, you know, I gave him some fucking non-answer just yeah. to see what he said, and he, he fucking loved him, dude. He's like, he's a businessman. He's a good businessman. That's what you need. Good. Bu- I was like, dude, Indians love good businessmen, dude, for sure, dude. But it, Trump gave a speech, uh, in India, in a packed stadium, giant packed stadium of India. <laughs> he's trying to speak Indian, or whatever the like. He's like a quadrate or whatever. There's like he, four dialects. Yeah, I think. he's l- trying to speak their language, and it's hilarious. It's oh funny to hear people God. fuck up speaking another language. That's so funny. It is funny. He really did. And Shibidu. the crowd would react and be like, ah. 
Scooby Doo. Like, we're here at the we're largest. <laughs> yeah, Scooby Doo. <laughs> um, Praise Vishnu. But yeah, accents are funny. Yeah. And seeing people try to not try, but like seeing people assimilate weird is funny. Like to do things that we do, like customs, fucked up is funny. Yeah. I, d- I don't, there's no like <laughs> racism behind it. It's just like, it's funny he's wearing his hat like that. <laughs> like, it's funny. Oh, that's what they're doing with those? Well, dude, that's I was, funny. I was uh, food shopping the other day and I saw a lady in like full, like, uh, whatchamacallit, like Muslim garb, but like yeah. just the eyes. And I was like, damn, that lady probably walks around all day and be like, look at these fucking idiots not wearing the right shit. Maybe. You know what I mean? If like, you, there's no way you wear that and you're like, yeah, wearing jeans is kind of cool too. You're probably like, idiots. Yeah, which makes sense though. Like if I moved to fucking Cameroon, mm-hmm. I'm still going to be wearing sweatpants and t-shirts. <laughs> For sure. Like, I'm not going to instantly move there and throw on a dashiki and people no. would be like, that's weird. Maybe more than ever, dude. Yeah. Maybe more than ever you'd be wearing fucking, you know, tea, sweats. Yeah. So like don't assimilate, <laughs> you know, yeah. until you run out of those clothes. I think, I think the rule is your kids assimilate. You don't. Yeah. So you go there, they go to school, and you just like sit at home, and you're like, "What, what the fuck, are you guys?" Yeah, doing? they get bullied into assimilating. Yeah, <laughs> the first couple of years, you dress them how you dress, and then they get made fun of. And every day they come back, like, "Do I have to wear this? Do I have to?" And finally, you're like, All right, "Whatever." Well, it's also too like, dude. So when you when you're born, you literally whatever language you're around, you you just uh, like your neurological structure forms around the language you're around, like the way people are experiencing emotion around you, your brain literally is shaped in that way. So like your brain shaped by the culture around you. So then like your brain has been shaped by like whatever fucking Benghazi, whatever goes on in Benghazi. I don't know what besides Hillary letting people die or whatever. (laughs) (laughs) I was waiting to see where this went. I was excited. (laughs) You're you're like, you've been neurologic. It's not just like a, you're neurologically, your brain's laid into place. Then you come here. You see chicks with their fucking butt cheeks hanging out of those shorts. It pisses you the fuck off, bro. Look, there's no. They're not going to be like. Well, I guess it's a. It's like you're, and it's you're safe to say. Fired safe up. to say they're right about some things, including <laughs> maybe put the cheeks away. Yeah. Maybe that's a weird way that we're all living suddenly. <laughs> also, too, just to have to come from that where like your wife just like see her like showing too much of her literal literal cheekbones. You're tossing literal literal. I say that a lot. You I mean, say literal literal cheekbones are showed, and then you see a chick's butt cheeks. You're like. Motherfucker. Yeah. That's offensive. That's offensive. I don't like it. As someone who uh, Islam sympathizer, when I see young women with their butt cheeks out, I was like, excuse me. Damn. You're really offending. Damn. You're really offending our Muslim brotherhood, dude. Or Muslim yeah. brothers, excuse me. Muslim brotherhood. <laughs> Muslim prison brother. gang. Excuse <laughs> me. Muslim brotherhood. <laughs> uh, Think about that next time you're out here prancing around. Yeah. Trying to fucking show off. Trying to show off your butt cheeks. All I'm thinking about is like, how can I make this a very comfortable experience for immigrants? So it's like obviously yeah. that's why I dress conservative. Change your outfits. That's why I dress conservatively, dude. Exactly. That's why I dress conservatively. I'm just waiting for somebody to come from a, a Muslim ruled country so I can be like, check out my gear. Salam alaikum, bro. Salam alaikum, bro. Just put these tits away. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. Where are we at? Time was. Uh, we're up basically an hour. Nice, dude. We gotta get you back. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I get it. I get to get you gotta food. get back to tending to your baby. Let me go, dude. Wow, Matt. Y'all rule, so dude. So proud of you. What's what Congrats. are you guys? What are you guys doing? Well, rumor has it, there's a war room headed down the pike for the Patreon. There's there's a rumor going around that Spud and Billy and me are gonna sit down here in a minute and discuss Ooh. some things. It could fall through, so I don't want to promise anything for the gotcha, page. Gotcha. I don't want to promise any page just yet, but there's a decent chance that takes it'll place. happen. Yeah. It'll happen. Also. Video studio is very close. Studio, bro. we're working hard to get a studio ordered. going. Everything's there. I heard we got some of the furnitures there. Yep. Which is very exciting. Yeah, we're very excited dude, to can't. unveil our gear. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> dude, I can't wait. Uh, this weekend, the 5th, 6th, and 7th of March, you can see me at the Stress Factory in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Uh, the 11th and 12th, next week I'll be at uh, Comedy Key West. Or, yeah, Comedy. The 11th and 12th, I'll be in Key West, Florida. And then 13th, 14th, 15th, I'll be at uh, South by Southwest. So that'll be sick. I'll be in Texas yeah, tonight. A little South by. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're going to South by Southwest. I'm going to South by Southwest. Not Skank by Skank West. And then Skank Fest later. And then Moon Town. I got three Texas dates coming up shortly. Bro. Austin and Houston. That's what's up. Yeah, we'll see. I might get fucking beat up at South by Southwest. 
Nah, you'll hold it down. A lot of our enemies. You'll hold it down. A lot of people I said were gay. <laughs> you'll hold <laughs> I'm gonna it down. have to approach and be like, sorry I called you gay. <laughs> yeah. Nah, you, Jones will protect you. I might contact Jones if I'm down in Austin. I thought about definitely. I, I'm gonna keep pictures of my kid off the internet, bro. I don't want Alex Jones to get his hands on him. When you and beef with blackmail him? me, when I, I inevitably beef with him, dude. When, there will be a time where we inevitably beef with Alex Jones. And dude, when he gets when he gets a hand on your kid's pictures, dude, it's just... <laughs> he will dox you. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, dude! Before we go, this was yeah. fucking killing me. So on Sunday, I went to the Flyers Rangers game. Oh yeah, yeah. it's pretty fucking sick. That's but I went sick. with uh, Francis. From Barcelona, this guy named Francis. Fuck yeah. He got fired from Barcelona. What? Uh-huh. And he was he wrote an article about this chick. I'd never read the article and he never really explained it. So I don't I don't this is all, you know, hearsay. Sure. But I think he was there was a a girl who got like kidnapped, but there was no like evidence of foul play really. Yeah. It was just like she had a history of like sugar daddies or okay. something like that. And he wrote an article that was like I think it's fucking rumpus time, dude. I think this girl's fine. I think she's having a rumpus. Oh. <laughs> and then he she said to kidnapping. He said when he hit publish on that article, like a half hour later, they were like, "Her charred remains have been found." <laughs> like he just oh. said, he, he got fucking fired from Barstool. <laughs> 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 dude, I was, he had a hot take. He was telling me this. Yeah, he dropped a hot take, and then the girl got fucking burned. Oh my I god! I was like, holy shit, dude! He slut shamed a burn victim. He slut shamed a lady, and then she got <laughs> set on fire. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, dude! Yours is way worse than mine, dude. Is he, is he applying anywhere else? That's a tight portfolio. Being like yeah, this, being like, that, I had one piece that was a god, little bit controversial. Dude, missed the mark on one of them. We should hire him. We should start a blog. I thought we start I a website. Hire Francis him, start is a doing blog. well. He's doing well. Good. And he is funny. And it was it was genuinely a mistake. That's like, so he, funny, bro. You know, I think they're under pressure to write like fucking ten articles a day. And he was just like, you're also under pressure to write shit that's controversial. At least, and you're under pressure to write it first. Yeah. Because everybody's getting the same topics, and if somebody gets the topic first, it's theirs. Yeah. So he was like, all right, I'm gonna follow this fucking case. I bet she's all right. I I think she's fine. He called then, slut a little too quickly. He, he called slut. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but just him telling me, he didn't even say it like laughing. I started laughing. But he was like, and then there was like an article that was like her charred remains. Have been, <laughs> I was like, holy <laughs> shit, dude, charred remains. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know Who if he's. Her? I don't know. I didn't. Who I didn't, done it? I didn't even ask. <laughs> Who done it? <laughs> Black dude. <laughs> he fucking cooked her up. <laughs> yeah, she was invited to the barbecue. <laughs> She got invited to the cookout. That's no good, dude. That's a joke. That's terrible. So you're saying, Michael Sanders. That's terrible. Michael Sanders, I shouldn't have said that. Michael Sanders didn't think it. So you're yeah. saying, you're saying that at Black I'm Family saying? Reunions, that should be Get Out. That'd be a good Get Out part too. Great reverse Get Out. Oh, that would be the worst, dude. If Key and Peele did it, they're just like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> see a fucking white lady. They're all cannibals. Mm. Some lady has like an FSU hey, sweatshirt. Hey, slow what? down. I'm, this topic is fucked up, dude. <laughs> I don't like it. You got a kid, oh, dude. Ladies getting cooked and munched? <laughs> Kids, yeah. I know I got a kid. I'll never, you got to cook a lady. Every once in a while, you got to cook a lady. I mean, dude. The, how much you must, How much that guy must have loved Bay that he was like, I got to... Well, I'm cooking her. Well, yeah, I'm going to burn her. <laughs> I'm going to set fire to Bay, dude. Oh, how do you think he did it? I don't know. I think he killed her first and tried to hide, hide her body. Uh, but, okay. But... It is, yeah, dude. Sometimes love is so powerful, you end up chopping up bay. That's, I mean, that is like the apex of love, dude. Yeah, to burn your significant other. That's how much you love. I love you so much. I, I didn't want anyone else to have you. What happened? Where is he? Just in jail now? <laughs> probably, yeah. Probably. You know, the, the journalist now has to visit him in jail and get the scoop. That would be the comeback of this. That century. would be the redemption for Francis. And that guy will Hannibal Lecter him. I'll be like, so you've come to write about me. Yeah, now. and then you got to find other guys that want to burn bay. He helps you locate the other <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> bay burners, dude. Oh man, I might, well, burn, I might probably, burn bay. Probably did him a disservice there. What? <laughs> Even bringing that up, it's hilarious. <laughs> it is a funny story. I, you know. Man needs another shot, dude. Yeah, he's doing, he he's doing fine anyway. Yeah, he's totally fine. He has some good seats at the fucking Rangers God game. Damn it, that's so fucking funny. Yeah, I wrote for a website for a little bit, and the guy would be like, "Write something that pisses people." They like pressure you to fucking write shit that pisses yeah. people off, and it, I guess. Well, that's what all these comedy articles are. They're all clickbait for like, yeah, for sure. Me, yeah, <laughs> just getting clicks out of me every well, day. Anyone who's not like, yes, is, is the enemy. 
Yeah. So if you're not like, yeah, do so, you know, just some, bo- yeah. it's like, it's all, it sucks. It's basically you know, like Lizzo dressing like a chocolate bar is everything. Yeah. If you don't like that, <laughs> then you're the enemy. Yeah. So, excuse me, but sorry. Sorry. You, you declared the enemy. You are the enemy. Damn, I can't believe that girl got fucking. She got fucking roasted, bro. Roasted and toasted, dude. That's a bummer. <laughs> That's a fucking wild. Like, imagine, Jesus Christ, like your loved one being like, all right, I hope they're okay. Then some dickhead from Barstool writes an article calling her a slut. Then you, get a, <laughs> then you get a phone call. It's like, no, she's dead. It's he like, should have. Oh, he should shit. have asked for like the action. He should have challenged the uh, remains. True. He, he should have got like, DNA tested. He should be like, well, let's like get the statistics with like how accurate charred remains cases are. How many charred remains cases are there? I'm pretty sure if you're someone's missing and they find charred remains, they're like, uh, yeah, it's gotta <laughs> That's be. Gotta be them. It's gotta be them. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, fuck. Well, man. you know. Yeah, Dude, charred remains is the funniest. Fucking. Charred remains is a tough headline. <laughs> charred remains. Like, In the oh, charred shit. remains article, they like local slut, <laughs> <laughs> slut dead, found charred. Story was broken by a fucking uh, <laughs> bar, bar stool <laughs> journalist. <laughs> Hot on the trail of the slut. <laughs> Every bar stool. <laughs> oh man, that's good stuff. Oh dude. my god, it's so fucking funny. Well, oh, man. man. Tend to your babe. Tend to the babe and tend to bay. I gotta stabilize bay and baby you right need to now. Stay, dude. You gotta go home and stabilize them. Yeah, I gotta bring some snacks. Bays need snacks and they need just, you gotta stay there and be awake and be like, chill. You gotta keep them from fighting with the nurses. There's oh, shit. They're, they're still at the hospital. Oh, they were here earlier to Thursday, bro. Oh, shit. Back to the spittle, dude. Oh, Let the that dogs sucks. out. You gotta go to the fucking hospital right now. Yeah, I'm sleeping on like a fucking pad for oh, like three days. Oh, that fucking sucks. Nah, nothing, bro. Dude. Abandon your family right now. Go Dude, home. Just I was go home. Abandon your family. I was, and go back to the apartment. Legally, I could. That's fucking nuts. I could legally just be like, "Well, mother-in-law, wife, it's within my legal right." Yeah. To physically and mentally abscond from this family done. unit. That's fucking nuts, dude. That should be. You should go to jail. Yeah, for Yeah, you can't go to jail for it. You can't have the government decide. Yeah, what's the fine line? Yeah. Because I was like thinking about that. So I'm like, I looked at my daughter and I'm like, could I? Just be like, <laughs> you look at your daughter. Oh, that's not good, dude. <laughs> no, I, I, <laughs> I was going if through day one. You're like, could I uh, well, skedaddle? I was, I was trying to go through the motions of like, what life event could bring a man to be like? Because it's definitely one of those things where it's like a, I'm gonna take some me time that just turns into like, woo. yeah, me time ended up being fun, dude. Yeah, because it's like I'm like, how do you do that to where you're just kind of? I think like, it takes a minute. It's usually not day one. Oh, I for think sure, like for sure. I think a week at the earliest. A week of that has got to be like I need to leave the house. Yeah, or a dude just sees. And then like you a drive stick. down the block and you're like, I can go one more block. <laughs> or you just see a stick and a bandana on your own. Like I could fill it up with some stuff and walk yeah, away. <laughs> get some stuff and get out of here. <laughs> but yeah, no, I looked. I was like, that's wild. I, I think too, it's if you don't have the fundamentals. Because it's it's like, dude, if you're like, if you're arguing already with Bay and you have kid and you don't fix that argue shit. And you start arguing with the kid, you just you could easily if you start yeah. to hate in bay, just be like, fuck this kid. Yeah. This kid's a fucking asshole too. This kid ruined my life. I was having fun. I had a podcast. I had a fun <laughs> podcast. But yeah, no, I, I was like, dude. Yeah. Right now I'm just like, this is fucking awesome. Yeah. And it is awesome. I'm, I'm squat, proud of you. Squatted up. And I love you. Love you, bro. I love fucking you. Love the dogs. I love yeah. It's nothing but love, dude. Fuck, dude. It is all about family, man. It's, how can we not talk about family? All about family. Fuck yeah. Dude, Bay texted me. She's like, I, I, yeah, it was, I thought it was going to be a fight. Bay, was, they just, dude, she just soldiered up and was like, I got this. Go do what the fuck you do. I was like, thanks. Hell man. yeah. Pretty tight. Go stack bread. Go talk about sluts. Go talk about a slut that got burned. <laughs> Go oh, talk no, about sluts dude. and Muslims, dude. Um, can I please take us out with just an audio clip, dude? Uh, Depends. It's just a commercial. This is a commercial. What do you this got? Sh- this should be what our sponsor. Going? This should be our sponsor, dude. This is the uh, the book, What is the What? I'm trying to bring, I'm trying to bring, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to bring more awareness to the uh, Sudan situation. The uh, fuck, I'm trying to. Find, I have like six zillion baby photos. Here we go. In Arab homes, and later became concubines, bearing the children of their keepers. Boys tended livestock, and were often raped too. This, I have to tell you, is one of the gravest offenses of the Arabs. Homosexuality is not part of Denka culture. Not even in a covert way. There simply are no practicing homosexuals at all. And thus sodomy, particularly the forced sodomy upon innocent boys, 
has fueled the war as much as any other crime committed by the Murahaleen. I say this all with due deference to the homosexuals of this country or any other. It is simply a fact that the thought of boys being sodomized by Arabs is enough to drive a Sudanese soldier to acts of incredible bravery. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, it's like 14 hours of shit. It's so fucking funny, dude. He's, it's funny to talk about that, like, so factually. <laughs> He's like, nothing against homosexuals yeah, in America. Like, like, it doesn't bother, you know. You guys do whatever you want here, but the thing that gets me going in the morning is Arabs... <laughs> Arabs fucking my young Sudanese brothers. <laughs> and then stealing my sister. Oh, that was the thing, too. They just That would get you going. The, the leader of Sudan was just like, okay, time in. Slaves can go again. He was like, yeah, you could totally have slaves again, guys. Go take them. You could take Damn, dude. That's how, that's how you get people to rock the vote. Dude, what is the what is is such a treat. The audiobook of just having an African dude in your ear all day long be like, I saw the microwave. It was very impressive. <laughs> you're just like, yeah, my microwave does fucking rule. Microwaves do rule. Dude, he was talking about his. his that's the fucking. That's the. That's like the 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 anvil to the blacksmith is the microwave to the Scotty. Oh, for sure. That's dude. like where all his work and crafting is done, dude. <laughs> <laughs> good Scotty knows how to put tinfoil in the microwave. Good Scotty knows like, all of it, dude. <laughs> dude, yeah, that was that book. What is the what? Is like my favorite thing right now. So it's, yeah. so fucking. It's like, it's just, that's, Incredible acts of bravery. <laughs> Nothing against homosexuals in America, but when I think about an Arab molesting a boy, it <laughs> leads me to incredible <laughs> acts of bravery. <laughs> it's true, though. <laughs> such a funny way to, it's such a funny reaction to child rape to be like, I am so brave about this now. I could fight a lion. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, right, we gotta go. Tend out to your family, right, dude. Stop being a deadbeat. Sorry. <laughs> Stop deadbeating on Bye. the cast. Yeah. <laughs>